and Spirit and Jesus, the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. I've drawn a Celtic symbol of the Trinity, um, which is a continuous line that incorporates three sections, co-joined completely, intertwined, overlapping, and a single chord, which is unbreakable. Um, I'm doing that in metallic colours to represent strength and durability. I'm surrounding that by rainbow colours, which is something I, I do in a lot of my pieces. Um, I think the rainbow has such won wonderful symbolism of, of renewal and God's faithfulness. And so I like to just incorporate all those lovely rainbow colours. I've recently had it brought to my attention that I also need to loose things from me. And it's, it's things like habits, maybe just attitudes towards certain people that, that are not Christ-like. But I've got so used to being like that that... I've hardly noticed. And so now I aim to loose from me the things that might offend God, the things that he doesn't like. And even if I can't always identify them because I'm so used to them that I can't see them, I know that God knows them and that he will reveal them to me as, as I ask him to. And so binding and loosing has become important to me. And that's what this expresses. Oh God and Spirit and Jesus the three From the crown of my head O oh Trinity To the soles of my feet my It's opening a door for God to come in. And every time we open a door to God, He can just do so much. Come I with my name and my witnessing. Come I with my contrite heart confessing. Come I unto thee, oh Jesus, my King, oh Jesus, Jesus. I bind my mind to the mind of the Creator God, and I loose from my mind all that offends my God, that I may worship completely. I bind my body to the will of the Saviour Christ, and loose from my body all dis-ease, that I may serve freely. I bind my spirit to the Holy Spirit, my helper, and I loose from my spirit all that is not of my God, that I may love joyfully. 